Hello everyone, welcome back to Electrology. In today's video, we will be discussing the calculation of the stabilizing resistor in high impedance differential protection. Before we dive into the calculation part, let's first understand the purpose of the stabilizing resistor in high impedance differential protection. The stabilizing resistor in high impedance differential protection is used to prevent the operation of the relay in case of a through fault. A through fault is a fault that occurs outside the zone of protection. Let's assume that high impedance differential protection is used to protect a bus bar, as shown in the diagram on the screen. In this protection scheme, all the CTs are connected in parallel, and then the four wires, A, B, C, and N, are connected to the relay. If there is a fault on the bus, according to Kirchhoff's current law, the summation of current will not be zero, resulting in a net current flowing through the relay coil, causing it to operate. However, under normal conditions, the summation of the current is zero, meaning no current flows through the relay coil, keeping the relay stable. Mathematically, under normal conditions, I1 plus I2 plus I3 will be zero. Since the relay sees only the summation of current, we typically employ an overcurrent element in high impedance differential protection. This is the key difference between high impedance and low impedance differential protection. Now, let's consider a through fault, which is a fault occurring outside the protection zone. Suppose a fault occurs after the CT of any feeder. Ideally, if all CTs maintain the same nominal ratio for all external faults, no current will flow in the relay coil. However, in practical cases, the relay may falsely operate due to a reduction in the nominal ratio of the fault CT resulting from CT core saturation. This false differential current can trip the relay incorrectly. The worst condition occurs when a CT gets completely saturated. Therefore, we need a way to make the relay insensitive to through faults, which is where the stabilizing resistor comes into play. The main cause of current flow through the relay coil in high impedance differential protection is the voltage across the terminals of the CT. Let's consider the worst case scenario where a CT gets completely saturated. When this happens, it no longer behaves as a current source, but rather acts as a resistor equal to the CT secondary winding resistance. As a result, the fault current does not flow towards the relay, but instead circulates within the saturated CT's secondary winding because current always follows the path of least resistance. If the fault current is IF and the resistance of the CT secondary winding is RCT, then the voltage developed across the saturated CT is VS equals IF multiplied by RCT when paralleling is done at CT junction box. Or if paralleling is done at the relay panel or near the relay end, we must also consider the lead resistance RL giving us VS equals IF multiplied by the sum of RCT and two times RL. This difference arises because paralleling can be done either at the CT junction box or at the panel. If paralleling is done at the CT junction box, then only the CT's secondary resistance matters. However, if paralleling is done at the relay panel, we must also account for the lead resistance from the CT to the panel. Now, let's determine the value of the stabilizing resistor. The relay has a set current value, IS, for internal faults. To prevent false operation during through faults, the voltage across the CT should not drive a current greater than IS through the relay. Thus, we place a stabilizing resistor, RSTB, in series with the relay coil. The value of RSTB is calculated as RSTB equals VS divided by IS. Expanding it further, we get RSTB equals IF multiplied by RCT divided by IS when paralleling is done at CT junction box. Or, RSTB equals IF multiplied by the sum of RCT and 2 times RL divided by IS when paralleling is done at the panel. This ensures that even under the worst case scenario of CT saturation, the current through the relay coil remains below the setting value, preventing false trips. So, to summarize, the stabilizing resistor plays a crucial role in high impedance differential protection by ensuring the relay does not falsely trip due to CT saturation during through faults. By correctly calculating and implementing the stabilizing resistor, we can enhance the reliability of the protection system. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with others, and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to Electrology for more insightful content on electrical engineering. If you'd like to support our work, you can make a one-time contribution using the thanks button or become a member by hitting the join button. 
See you in the next video.